Hello everybody, welcome to Punched Out Thursday. I will be using the Pink Paisley um, Paige Evans Bloom Street paper and Heidi Swap Art Artwork Art Walk it is. <laughs> so I was starting out, I thought, well, I haven't used my star punches for a while. So I started out cutting out the blue, and then it showed in some pink, and I thought, well, surely I could do Braxton or Lane or Lukey with using the blues of these papers. And then I started seeing the pretty pink pop through, and so I grabbed a photo of Briley. <laughs> I have been doing boy layouts, but these pretty papers just remind me of Briley and Lily. So this layout goes totally different, turns into a adorable girl page instead of the boy page, what I was thinking. See, it kind of looks boy just by looking at the stars, but... Yeah, so I am going to do a vertical design with my stars, and then I decided to put some mixed media in the background. Now, I didn't do any gesso to the back. I'm just going to, um, oh, uh, just do a light blue on the background. What I was doing is Shamel came on live while I am doing this uh, page. So I wanted to say hi and that I was there and that way it'll keep coming up and put some hearts. So it'll keep popping up on my Facebook. All right, so I am using Tiffany Blue from Lindy's and I got those in my hip kit. I am using everything that was in my hip kit for February and March for my punched out Thursday layout. I just love the colors. My desk is so messy. It's like it's crowding in. I have my laptop is what you see in the video. There on the left hand corner. Um, I was just thought I would watch. I have YouTube and Netflix and Hulu on my TV. And then for Facebook, I have to watch my laptop. So, anyway, I am going to pop dot the stars up, give them a little bit of dimension, and and just kind of mix them up. I have the blues and the teals and the uh, um, kind of purplish green stars. And I like the pink on the background, but I don't end up using any of those sides for the, um, the big stars. Now, for backing my photo, I chose the pink part of this um, paper, and that's number 22 of Bloom Street. I got those in my hip kit. I love Bloom Street. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, so I mount that, and then it just nestles right in there with the stars. And her shirt brings out the blue. And I love the hint of pink from her bow and on her shirt. And this was taken um, Easter. And she did have a dress on, but I think it was full of sand um, when she was sitting down playing in the sand. So we had changed her clothes right before going back outside. Oh, I just, 
I enjoyed having these kids visit me so much. I hated to see them leave, but I'm so glad they left when they did. They left Wednesday night about, or, well, let's see, yeah, Wednesday morning about 2 a.m., and she drove 18 hours straight. So they're all at home, and they're all well, and they're playing outside. The Texas weather, boy, I wish we had it here. It snowed just about all day yesterday, but it didn't amount to anything. It melted as soon as it hit the ground. So I'm hoping that's our last 31 snows that actually snowed. All right, so back to the layout. As you can see, I punched out some smaller hearts, but I chose to use the back side of that paper. And I'm using pink. Now I'm taking some of the ephemera pieces from um, Pink Fresh. And I pulled out a couple flowers. I pulled out a bird. I also cut up Paige Evans Bloom Street number 13 and cut Make Time for Joy. And that's the purple one. And then I pulled out a label tag from the ephemera. And then I also pulled out that bird. I wanted to bring another bird in. And I'm just working on that cluster. Get that glued down. And then they have puffy frames with some puffy um, embellishments in the frames. And those are from, oh, let's see. Is it um, Pink Fresh? Yes, Noteworthy is where I got the love from. And then I also pulled in the fun off of Paige Evans' well, American Crafts uh, thickers that I got in my hip kit. So now I'm just going to work on the cluster from the fun up to the photo. And now I am putting butterflies um, and I pull up the edges of the butterfly. And now I'm adding another phrase sticker from that sheet of paper. And I am notching in some little banners and I popped dot those up the one underneath fun says I love you and then I also do another one that's purple and it says beautiful and I put them right underneath the fun I really love how the mixed media sparkles and shines behind the stars. Okay, so I'm cutting my last banner. And then I pull out the little sticker book that we got in, I don't know if it was February or March's, and that's from Bloom Street. And I get out some little stars and just bring in stars to mimic my punches. And I scatter them all around the fun. And I put a couple up above by the purple butterfly. And I love how that looks. I hope this video finds all of you well. And that none of you are sick. And you stay healthy. And don't forget to go check out... Krista and Ronnie and Dorothy, and I will have their links listed below. We each do totally different things just to inspire you to bring out your punches. And don't forget to use your punches on a layout. It adds that little different detail that you need for your page. So the last thing that I'll be doing is drawing my squiggly lines. And I cannot draw a straight line, so I purposely 
just make them wonky. Now I'm going to add a little touch of the gold Heidi Swap Color Shine to my layout. And I wanted to bring the stamp in, but I forgot all about it, and it just wouldn't work this time. So I decided not to have it on there. So I hope you enjoyed this process. Wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. And thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. And I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.